Morning YouTube, Toy Maker Larry here, and uh, sorry it's been a while. Uh, I want to thank Matches for mentioning about me having a contest. Unfortunately, uh, there's been uh, quite a few snags involved in me uh, coming up with my contest. The first one was that I went and ordered the uh, prize for the contest and uh, my laptop went. My laptop was an HP. I bought it back in 2000. It was a little over nine. You figure a little over nine years old and it finally crapped out. So I was stuck on getting on and doing a video because I have an Amazon 7 inch tablet and a 12 inch tablet and they both have crappy cameras on them. So couldn't do a video and show you a good quality video on what the prize was going to be for the contest so I went and was looking into buying a laptop and that didn't work out so I ended up which I haven't got I won't get it to next week is I bought a uh, a refurbished uh, Hewlett Packard tower for 169 bucks with what I need to do anything with on it with videos and stuff good enough for what I'm going to use it for and I got a $99 monitor 24 inch to go with it so I'm just waiting for that next week but I, I, I wasn't using my mind very good my, my mind's like a coat rack you know you use it for a coat rack sometimes and that's what I've been doing uh, lately it seems and that is that uh, I forgot that my 10 inch tablet had a micro memory card slot in it so I, I, I didn't realize this to yesterday I says where the hell has my mind been it's like a coat rack like I say and I got I got a couple of micro memory cards and I got one for Christmas actually a, uh, a 32 gig so I says I gotta try an experiment one video and see if it works I'm putting it up so I did one of the dog downstairs this morning. It's Saturday, the 16th of uh, March here. Oh, uh, yeah, March. Yeah, March. And uh, tomorrow's St. Patty's Day. By the way, happy St. Patty's Day to everybody early. And uh, it worked out all right. So I'll just record off the Canon Mixia camera here and take the card over put it into a tablet and upload it to YouTube so that's why I'm doing this video here what a moron I'm telling you I could have had this thing up a while ago so I want to run a contest but I only have 171 subs and I'd like to get up to 200 after I get 200 subs then I'm gonna have the contest at some point after that probably maybe not next week but the week after so I'm letting you know ahead of time what's going on here by then, hopefully, I have my other computer that I'm waiting for hooked up. If not, we'll have to do it the best we can with the tablet. So There are some restrictions for the video. Just doing a little instant coffee job here this morning. <clears throat> Along with some... <coughs> I bought this... Oh, by the way, the, the main prize, along with some other stuff to go with it, came from the Pipe Nook, Eddie Gray. Go see Eddie Gray if you need a Salmonella pipe, or a Rossi pipe, or a uh, corn cob pipe. Go see Eddie Gray. I bought this. One of my favorite corn cob pipes is the Mark Twain. So I bought one of them with some other stuff. I bought it with with my order from Eddie Gray. His prices for his pipes and his tobacco are in line with some of the great other sites on the internet like Smoking Pipes and uh, Tobacco Pipes and uh, Pipes and Cigars. Their prices on pipes. Eddie will do just as good as if you buy a pipe there for a Sabinelli because I've checked the prices and they're just about the same so give Eddie some business Eddie is a small businessman trying to make a few bucks I don't think he makes a lot help him out nice guy 
great man in the pipe community so he's down in Florida give him some business so I'm smoking in it some Scotty's blend butternut barley not bad stuff I've had better but it's good and uh, I bought this uh, cheap lighter at Walmart Ronson pipe lighter with a little two on the side but two ain't worth a crap it's too short actually to get down in your pipe uh, I guess for a small pipe uh, like a small corn cob it will work out well but other than that it's not really it's useless really so but it lights good and it works well for me eight dollars and something I thought it was well worth it I've had it maybe a couple months now and it's worked fine it's butane uh, uh, refill and a uh, regular flame not like the torch lighter so here's where we're gonna go right here is like again I like to thank match matches great fellow of the pipe community and him and uh, Sab uh, Sergeant Sabinelli when they get together are are really enjoyable to watch two great guys uh, can't wait to see a video of those two guys and then you got pipes and kayaks over there he's another good guy see some videos with them together and uh, it's just all fun stuff so so like I say I want to get over 200 subs here's the restrictions and here's what you need to do. You need to be uh, subscribed to my channel, obviously. And I will check to see if you're subscribed. And how I will is you need to do a video. You need to do a video on what was your first pipe you smoked and the very first tobacco you tried. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? Not too hard. I know the first time I've tried a pipe and smoke was back in the 70s when I worked at the truck plant. And uh, Dr. Gray Bowes and Dr. Uh, K. Woody's. And my first tobacco, i got to be honest with you, that I smoked was Sir Walter Raleigh. But my favorite, don't laugh, was Captain Black. Uh, the regular white pouch. I think it's the regular. Later on, I smoked the Royal, which I liked. And don't forget Edgeworth. I tried that, too. That was a great tobacco. Which those little sneakers over there in Connecticut, I'm not mentioning their names. They know who they are. Got some sneak sneak jobs over there. Somehow, we're able to get some of that way back tobacco that was really good stuff. And uh, we know who we're... I know. You know who I'm talking about. But anyway... So you got to do that. You got to be subscribed. You got to do a video with your first pipe tobacco you try and your very first pipe. That seems to be pretty simple, doesn't it? And maybe what you did after that. It's up to you. So let's go and get going with the prizes here. I'm going to give you the tobacco first because I want you to try to figure out as we're going along. Uh, what pipe's going to go with a certain tobacco that I'm given as a prize that's smoked by a famous man, a famous man here on the YTPC. You know who he is. We're going to start it out with Haunted Bookshop. Two ounces of that, Cornell and Deal. We're going to start out with that as part of the prize. Uh, we're going to throw in a pouch of velvet tobacco with it, which you might want to smoke in one of your corn cobs or whatever. And then we're going to give you a, a tin of McBaron Golden Extra, which is smoked by a famous man out there on in the YTPC. Those are the three tobaccos that will be included in the giveaway contest. 
And come now is the big pipe. We got a pipe we're going to give away. I'm sure you've already guessed what it's going to be. I know you people are very smart out there. And I know by now, after that tin, that first tin of tobacco that you have caught on. I know it. Here we go. It's a Savinelli. It's a Savinelli, everybody. Savinelli. Once thought they were a real expensive pipe, but when, when I started looking around, they're not so bad for, for the price and what you get. So I'm wrap. With it, I also forgot you're going to get in a box all kinds of little papers and stuff. Of course, you're going to get your balsa system to build filters that you wouldn't filter for your pipe. Ten of them. Now here goes the pipe. Are you ready? Now I know you all got this figured out, but for you, I'm going to give you a minute to figure it out. I'm sure it's all in that you all know who smokes this and you know all about this pipe. Here we go. Do I hear a drum roll? <laughs> no, sorry, no drums around here. Here we go, folks. There it is. The matches 860 Friday 7 only. From Eddie Gray. Need a pipe? Go see Eddie. There it is. The Savinelli 673. Boy, what a beautiful pipe. I took a look at that and I said, Do I really want to give that pipe away or not? <laughs> and uh, I'm sure whoever will enjoy that pipe, probably somebody that doesn't have it would love it. But there it is. The matches. 860 famous famous Friday 7 alley on top look at that so there you have it that's going to be the contest folks now I hope that this thing uploads all right that's the next thing that will be shipped to you and I'll find out who you are I don't know exactly how I'm going to I may just put a number by your I may just put a number by your name on a reply and have you send me an email because it's not hard. My email is to make Larry at gmail .com and then we'll see who's gonna get the pipe and we'll strip it out to them. So this is my first prize I ever give it out. Don't have a whole lot of money. I live on a tight budget, but I like to get 200 subs, like I say. And uh, we'll see what happens next. Maybe we'll give out something on the 300 subs. Might be just as good. Might not be quite as good. Maybe it'll be uh, uh, something in the line of uh, uh, a couple of fancy corn cobs or whatever. It might be. Uh, just tobacco we'll see what happens we'll see how this goes I know I'm not going to be able to keep up with some other people out there but I'll try my best and uh, try to get involved with the pipe community a little bit and do some more videos you know you gotta do videos other than it's there's more things in the world to talk about other than just pipes and smoking pipes you know too you can do that along with other things you know like I like to talk about the weather sometimes. I like to talk about politics sometimes. You'll find out about me, you know, things like that. And, and uh, you know, because uh, just to get on and do a pipe and a tobacco chat is kind of like you would really be doing a real short one, So, in my opinion. So there'll be other things involved, like Matches tells a lot of stories over there. 
Uh, go check matches out. Boy, I love some of the stories he tells about his his uh, days in the in the in the nursing the, the living home business and and his old stories about Phil uh, Phil and uh, and his younger days. Boy, they're classics. I'm gonna tell you. They are really true classics. And the one I really love, too, is the one about the Youth Fellowship Basketball. I used to go to Youth Fellowship, too, by the way, but uh, we never started a basketball team. used to play basketball, Father Casey Hall. Uh, used to go on some trips to the city and different places, but we never, never got a basketball team together because if we did, I'm sure it would be even worse than the team that matches had. It would have been like maybe a hundred to nothing instead of fifty-six to two. <laughs> but anyway, they are hilarious. The stories that matches tells. He just he's got a way about it. But anyway, I don't want to make this video any longer than I have already. But I'll keep in touch with you on it. Let's try to get two hundred subs, and uh, maybe I'll do another video maybe uh, next weekend and uh, see where we're at, and hopefully the week after, where. Uh, we're going to do uh, pull the name or whatever. Maybe, hopefully, before matches is Friday uh, night live show. And uh, everybody will know who won. So, anyway, enjoy St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day to everybody. And everybody in the YTPC. And everybody stay safe. And uh, don't eat too much corned beef if you like corned beef. I'll see you later.